Welcome to Victory Update again. Today's <laughs> July 30th. I'm Pastor Gene Bailey, and along with We you, are having a good time. We're having a good time, we Pastor are. Greg. We so are. glad your mom, if your mom's watching, hi, Mom. She is uh, the president of your fan club. Well, I'm glad. Don't When's stop. that Gene Bailey going to be back on? I know. I love your mom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. she's great. Thanks for watching. Uh, so much is happening here. In fact, next week coming up, we got a special event going We do. On. The Southwest Believers Convention, number 40, downtown Fort Worth, August 3rd through the 8th. <laughs> Same speakers, uh, one edition. Bill yeah, Johnson right. will be here, but it's going to be amazing. Uh, and we're going to talk about that a little bit. Yeah, today. we're going to check in live down there with our very own Tim Fox down there at the uh, convention center and see what's happening as setup goes in. Uh, but first, let's check in over at the Partner Service Center with Zuri, who's there. Tell us what's going on on the phone, Zuri. Good afternoon. I am so excited to be here up front with all of our prayer ministers, the prayer ministers that are licensed to pray with you and go to the word and scripture to pray for all of your future testimonies. You want to encourage you, whenever that number pops up on your screen, go ahead and give us a call. We would love to hear from you. That number is 877-281-6297. Speaking of prayer requests, I actually have one that became a testimony earlier this week. I have Belinda. She was believing for her daughter's eyes to be healed and she was healed and delivered. So praise the Lord. The other one I have here is Glenda from Dayton, Florida. Uh, she called last Friday for her sister's hands to be uh, healed and all swelling to go away. So we thank you, Lord, that that was accomplished and that your life continues to work in her. I want to remind you, we are here daily on the morning program. So we want to hear from you and encourage you to call us every single morning. Remember, we're here 930, 9.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 Central. Back to you guys. Thank you, Zuri, so much. Yes, that phone number is always there for you to call. We're here to be your two, Greg. That's exactly like Jesse right. Jesse said, someone to agree with you in prayer. Exactly right. Yeah, and what else Intercessors do we have? are there, and this week we're offering a very special thing. You want to get a hold of this. If you haven't gotten it, get it now. This one is for sale, regularly $30 for 12 this week. It's the fruit of the Spirit is love, and it is uh, Gloria Copeland's Spiritual Antioxidants, a six-CD series. series. It is serious. It is. Serious. You need to get this. GoVictory.com slash Victory Update. GoVictory.com slash Victory Update. Yes, and take advantage of all the products available there on the website or in the phone number you can call and get more information. All right, well, let's check in on today's news with our very own Mike Garofalo. Mike? Thanks, Gene. Big tech CEOs found themselves in the hot seat on Capitol Hill on Wednesday. Lawmakers accused the executives of political bias and ruthless business practices. Both Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg and Amazon's Jeff Bezos heard an earful, as did the CEOs of Apple and Google. The testimony aimed at calming calls for an antitrust breakup of the companies took place via video conference before the House Judiciary Committee's Antitrust Subcommittee. The companies were also accused of censoring their users. The two American astronauts who made history by blasting off from U.S. soil aboard the privately built SpaceX rocket in May are about to return home. Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley have been living on the International Space Station for two months now. They're expected to undock their SpaceX Dragon capsule on Saturday and return to Earth with a splashdown on Sunday. Democrats have unveiled their preliminary schedule for their four-day convention set to start in Milwaukee on August 17th. It should come as no surprise that Joe Biden will deliver his acceptance speech in Milwaukee on Thursday, the final night of the gathering. And on Wednesday, his yet-to-be-announced vice presidential running mate will be nominated. The mostly virtual gathering, as well as the opening ceremonies, will take place on Monday, followed by a series of speakers who will soon be announced. The Justice Department says it is expanding Operation Legend. Uh, approximately 100 federal agents and officers will soon be en route to Detroit, Cleveland, and Milwaukee. According to officials, all three cities have seen an increase in violent crime. The feds will be tasked with assisting state and local officials with criminal investigations. After weeks of dealing with violent protesters seeking to damage or destroy Portland's federal courthouse, agents will soon begin to withdraw. Oregon's governor and federal authorities say they've apparently reached a deal. Governor Kate Brown says the agents will begin leaving the downtown area today and that Oregon state troopers are expected to take the agent's place in protecting the federal courthouse that has been targeted by rioters. However, the Department of Homeland Security says the federal agents won't be leaving Portland until it knows the federal facilities are in fact secure. 
In the meantime, the fence that has kept Black Lives Matters and Antifa protesters and rioters from damaging and possibly even setting Portland's federal courthouse on fire is said to be costing American taxpayers $2,000 an hour until it comes down. A Portland city commissioner says the fine is being levied and will be collected because the fence is unauthorized. Due to a collapse in the demand for airliners, Boeing says it will cut production of its wide-body jet. According to the Seattle Times, Boeing is even considering closing the 787 Dreamliner assembly line in Washington State and moving all of that work to South Carolina. As a result of the impact of the coronavirus pandemic, Boeing says it lost $2.4 billion in the second quarter. Back to you in the Victory Studio. Thank you so much, Mike. Pastor Greg, we know that's the news, but we know the truth, don't we? We do know the truth, and, and we give you the news in the spirit of faith. Why all these agents, the, the federal agents came in to protect, yeah. and now they're doing what the state police were not allowed to do. Yeah. And so now the state police are coming in, so that's I'm good. I'm telling you, we're going to see the end of this thing, and I, I know that goes hand in hand with a revival. Last oh, absolutely. day's great awakening we're here. But talking about next week, uh, you know, David Ellis, you're here today. Tell me, what are you expecting next week at the uh, Believers Convention? You know, I didn't realize that it was the 40th convention until you just said that yeah. a moment ago. But there's a lot of biblical significance about 40. There is. You know, if you look at it, it uh, I'm not going to take the time to talk about it, but there's a lot of translation over into another place. Yeah. Going yeah. to a higher level. And right. so, you know, while you guys were talking about that, it's it, this one's different. This one is very important. Not just what's going to be uh, maybe taught and preached. I'm really excited for pre-service prayer with Pastor yeah. Terry in the auditorium because I think prayer is going to be ballistic. It's yeah. majorly well, I, needed I think right it now. started last night. Yeah, yeah, it did. Here at the, at the church, and you, many of you saw it on the network. I mean, it, it started last night. And one of my fondest memories of Southwest happened several years ago when the police, you know, violence stuff started. She began to, Pastor Terry began to call out Dallas and pray over Dallas yeah. Yeah. at the exact I moment. Remember that. You remember that? I do yeah. remember it. At yeah. the exact moment that there was a riot and some police were shot in Dallas, she was interceding by the Spirit. And that's one of the things I remember the most about the recent yeah. Southwest Believers Convention. Well, you know, it's going to be it's going to be great. Listen, if you can't get here and you really should try everything you can do to be here, uh, even if it's for one night, come. Come what, during the day, during the evenings, we got a lot happening. In fact, uh, let's talk about the kids. What's going on for the kids this year? We have virtual uh, super for the kids. super kids. Right. The, the 1440, the youth will have their services. But for the super kids, there's virtual. So if you have an iPad or a phone, bring it with some headphones because we have programming for your kids. They're not going to be left out. Uh, they'll be able to watch it right there. Yeah, we've actually produced special programming just for them. And if you don't have one of those uh, devices, we actually have a, a theater room that's set up, and you'll be able to go there and, and have your child go there and watch uh, along with you as you go, go attend the convention. It's going to be great. All right, well, let's get into some music before we go downtown and check in with Tim Fox. You know, there's one great way to start every day, and that's with this song, Every Praise.
say every praise, Greg. Every praise. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're about to have I'm over here again. bouncing around yeah, in my really chair. Having a good time. <laughs> I wish and, everybody could see that. Yeah. I know you can. You can. Yeah, they can see what cool. we're, we're over here dancing we're along doing, and singing. And, and I know you're doing the same thing yeah, as well. That's right. All right. Well, let's check in downtown with our very own Tim Fox. Tim, were you dancing to that song too? Of course I was dancing to that song. Not probably nearly as much as you guys were, but by the way, you guys mentioned your moms earlier. My mom watches, as you know, and although she's a big fan of both of you, you're not quite number one. Uh, that's okay. I understand. You know, I, uh, Marnell does love me pretty good, though. I just got to tell you. She, she does. She does. Listen, we are, as you mentioned, we are well in to the setup process down here at the Fort Worth Convention Center. And as you've already mentioned, this is going to be a very significant meeting. In fact, I'm gonna bring in Kurt Shellstrom, who is our senior events manager and you've seen on the, on the network before. Kurt, this meeting is already making an impact absolutely. in the Fort Worth. Absolutely, you know, I was driving in this morning, Tim, and all of the banners are up on the flagpoles driving in down Houston Street. And the one word that came to me, and I've been using it as a hashtag on our social media outlets, let the church arise. Yes. And what a significant time that we're having this event. You know, it says in Isaiah 61, 60 verse one, arise, shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is upon thee. And as people come here to this event, and those of you that are gonna be watching online, uh, I believe, that the glory of the Lord is going to touch every single one of us. Yeah. And that's why we do what we do, yeah. work in the long hours, because we know something significant is going to happen yeah. during this event. You mentioned on Victory Update a couple of days ago, this is the first event here in Fort Worth since COVID hit in March and everything started shutting down. And we're putting some people back to work here, aren't we? Absolutely. You know, just for the, like the Omni Hotel, for instance, they've been running between a 10 to 20% occupancy. We have 300 plus hotel rooms booked over there. 50% of the hotel is us. Uh, we have over 650 rooms booked at different hotels here in the city. And so it's opening up restaurants. It's opening up hotels. Uh, the uh, Courtyard Marriott across the street, same thing. They just had one staff member. They're bringing all their staff back. And it's just, there's an energy and there's a buzz yeah. here hear yeah. about this event because it is the only event yeah. the next event after ours is not until the end of September now right. and, and finally you mentioned to me that you were there last night with Pastor Terry's prayer service and the significance of what she said last night absolutely you know that is you know she talked on Monday at our staff chapel you can come to this event with your hands crossed like this yeah. or you can come into this convention it, it's different it's different yeah. downtown Fort Worth it's if you've been to you know Southwest before it's not normal downtown Fort Worth <laughs> but you can come don't let any hindrance, That's don't let right. any distractions right. get in your way. And you come into this event with your hands raised up to receive all that God has for you. Amen. You know, and Gene, you uh, already mentioned the fact that, David even mentioned the fact that this is the 40th. Yeah. And there's something significant about this being the 40th. And we knew last year, when we were looking forward this year, that 40th would be special. We had no idea what we were going to be facing, but we also have no idea what God's going to do here next week. That's right. Hey, get Kurt back in there. I, I wanted to ask him a question about, uh, maybe he can speak to this as well as you. The set looks a little different behind you. What's going on down there? Yeah, Gene was talking about the set. It looks a little bit different. Talk about that. <laughs> you know, to say I'm excited is an understatement. I texted Pastor Gene last night. This wall looks absolutely amazing. It's a 40 foot by 20 foot, three mil LED wall. It, the, the, the set, everything is different about this Southwest. It's not the normal set we've had for, what, 18 plus years. Right. Um, it's uh, We did this kind of setup in when we were in Australia. And uh, it is, it's, it's fresh, it's new. And I just really believe it's going to be a step statement when people walk in yeah. here like wow I'm, I'm yeah. right I mean it, it's it's you can tell I'm a little excited, <laughs> but you know, it's just everything, you know, the book tables aren't in the exhibit hall like before. They're out in the concourse area. We've shrunk some things down just to, you know, make it more intimate. Um, but you know, it's, uh, it is, it is what it is right now. Yeah. And we are making the best of it because yeah. we are stronger, Tim, and better together. Yeah. And the body of Christ, people, I have personal friends that are coming in from all over the United States for this event. And you know, to have uh, all of our speakers, but now this year, Bill Johnson from Bethel Redding, 
um, you know, people are texting me, is, is Bill Johnson really coming? I'm like, he's coming, you know? And, uh, and so, you know, it is such an excitement. And all of our staff, it's not just another event, not just another church service, but we are believing and expecting God to do great things. Amen, amen. And Gene, I do want to remind everybody, as David mentioned, pre-service prayer every morning and every evening, and then our countdown program every evening at 7, 6 Central. We've got it wall to wall for you down here at the Fort Worth Convention Center. Yeah, and talk a little bit about the countdown program, Tim. Uh, what, what is it that you do? Uh, you're you're the host for that. What happens? He makes there? fun of me. He makes fun of you. He makes fun I, of Greg. That's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's such an easy target, uh, but anyway, we take time and we interview pastors, partners. Uh, people that are on the network, programmers, and we spent about a half hour talking about the goodness of God and about the network and about the things that God is doing in other ministries. So we're going to do that every evening at 7, 6 Central. You're going to be with me, Gene. I know Greg's going to be with me. And I'll promise, I'll try to be nice to you, Greg. <laughs> That would be great. You think that's going to happen? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but Friday night, Friday is, night is very special because yeah, what's happening Friday, that's Friday night, the very first class of Kenneth Copeland Bible College did not get to have graduation right. due to everything that's been going on. But they're holding graduation Friday night at the Southwest Believers Convention. Yeah, and you know, I'm glad you brought that up because a lot of uh, colleges and high schools didn't get to walk the graduate, but right. ours are going to walk. They're going to have the the robes, the whole thing. I mean, we're doing graduation, Kenneth Copeland Bible College style, down there at Southwest Believers Convention. Everybody's invited. To Only be at a this part. ministry, isn't it? Yeah. The, you know, the Bible College graduation is bigger and better, and yeah. at at Southwest. So, so it's, it's going to it's going to be great. And uh, Brother Copeland, of course, will be speaking that night to the students. And I know it's going to be an encouragement to them as it will to everybody who attends. So you want to make sure you come down. So these students have passed the test. David, you were talking about 40 years, 40 years in the Bible. It's, it's in there 150 something times. Mm -hmm. It's passing a test. Wow. And coming out of something, Jonah, right. Noah, Jesus in the wilderness, the, the Israelites Israel. in the wilderness. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a time of testing and coming out. I would not be surprised that our nation has been in a time of testing to watch us come out, Amen. Southwest Believers Convention. Yeah, I, I'll agree with that in Jesus' name, but my faith agreement. So many great things. We're looking for some great, some great uh, uh, announcements to come. Uh, the ministry is expanding all the time. We are not taking our foot off the gas here, Greg. We're keeping yeah. going. And listen, you're going to want to be a part. Now, if you can't, just absolutely no way you can't come, make sure you watch uh, us on the Victory Channel. Everywhere the Victory Channel is, you can watch us uh, live. We'll be broadcasting live on our network 24-7. Uh, whenever we're down there, you're going to see something that service is there. But I want to tell you about something else that's coming up. Our team has put together a program, a special broadcast, celebrating 40 years the Southwest Believers Convention. And it airs tomorrow, Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central. We go back uh, they did a great job, Diana. We did a great job going back and pulling out clips from the years, things that have happened through 40 years. Southwest Believers Convention. You want to make sure that you tune in tomorrow night. It's going to be a great time. I can't wait. Well, I want to see that. I, I've heard about it, and I knew they were editing it, but I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, it, I, it's a, it's a great, it's a great story. All right, well, let's. I want to play this clip from Jerry Savelle about what is he expecting at the Southwest Believers Convention. Watch. Well, you know, with what's been going on the last few months, I'm expecting uh, overflow crowds. People have been locked away. <laughs> They've been locked up. They haven't been able to go to church as much. Of course, they can watch it, you know, virtual campaigns and so forth, but it's not quite the same as being in that service. And I, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking... Man, I don't know where you're going to put all the people by the time the Believer's Convention starts. But I believe every speaker is going to have a special word from God that people are going to want to hear. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm really expecting some major restoration to take place. A lot of people have been hurting. A lot of people have been affected financially. A lot of people have been affected physically. I'm believing that as we get into this convention, there's going to be some major miracles where, where uh, health is concerned, major miracles, where finances are concerned. 
and some major restoration is going to take place. And, and I'm really expecting it to take place during the course of that week. Some of it might take place after the convention's over with, but I'm really expecting there to be more testimonies of the miraculous take place during that week. I'm looking forward to it, and uh, I believe every other speaker is too, and I'm quite sure that Brother Copeland and Gloria are as well. Amen. I am, We are indeed looking forward to it. All right, well, let's go down and let's go back down to Tim at the convention center. Tim, what have you got to show us there? Well, Gene, something when you come to the meeting that you really wouldn't notice unless you see it here right now. These are the lighting trusses where all the lights hang that light all of this stuff that you see here. In fact, they've got a few of them on there that you can see over on this shot. Thanks, Phil. Let me tell you a little bit about these lighting trusses. There's over 200 lights on these lighting trusses. 64 rigging points, 64,000 pounds of rigging. <laughs> uh, it takes a lot of lights to make this thing look good for television. And of course, our lighting director, Dale Malk, is running around here right now making sure all these lights get on these trusses and everything gets on. They'll take these up in the air a little bit later on and then they'll focus them on the platform so that when folks come in here Monday morning, they don't notice all these trusses, but they do notice the lights, Gene. Yeah, amen. And you know, it takes a takes a good bit of people there. Tim, you have any idea how many crew members it takes really to put on the, the whole event? Well, yeah, it, it's kind of in shifts. The setup crew is probably 50 to 100 people, and then you can add another probably 50 to 100 people throughout the week to do all the different things that we're doing here, book tables and television and all the different book tables. So, you know, it takes a lot of people. And I will say this, all of us here at KCM do this as a labor of love. We love our partners so much. These meetings are a ministry to the partners and friends of Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And everything, Brother Copeland has said this many times, when he does a meeting, he's talking to you, the partners. And so just know that all of this is for you, the partners, and we'd love to have you come down here if you can. As Gene said, if you can only come one night, that's great. But if you can't come, we'll have everything for you right here on the Victory Channel. Yeah, amen. And, and part of the, one of the crucial elements of the convention, Greg, is our volunteers. Absolutely we, true. They just are an amazing, we have people that travel to every event just to volunteer and give of their time. That's absolutely true. And uh, our first meeting, if you want to be a volunteer, you can go to the website and find out more information how you can volunteer and meet us Sunday afternoon down there at 3 p.m. in the uh, convention center for a special meeting. And speaking of Sunday, if you're coming in for the convention <clears throat> and you're going to be here, and want to come to church out here at Eagle Mountain Church, we would love to have you. There's a reception just for you, our e-members. And this it's uh, August the 2nd and August the 9th, two services, 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern time and at, uh, and at 9, 9 a.m. Central. 9 a.m. Central. And then again at 11. So we'd love to have you here. Um, you can go to kcm.org and register to say, hey, I'm coming to church. I'm uh, kcm.org Southwest and say, I'm coming to church and we'll get you on the list so that you can get a ride out here. And we'd love to see you. Meet yeah, you. amen. We would love to meet you. Shake your hand. It's one of our favorite times every it year. Is. It one is. One of our favorite the times. E-member reception. Right, before we go off the air today, I want to play this little clip, this one clip from Bill Winston about coming to the Southwest Believers Convention before he was a speaker. Watch. I was at Southwest before I was a speaker at Southwest. So it was times that I would actually come there and I could just see how God would supernaturally put together the speaker's topics um, that it seems like one would take up where the other one left off. And that to me, was astounding. I mean, I, that's the first thing that got my attention. <laughs> I said, my goodness. And when I go back and review my notes, I'd notice that all these things have, you know, they've been coming together here. And I said, no, this, this is phenomenal. Well, it was God. It was the anointing. And so I really began to see how the anointing works in that large platform of, of worldwide ministry. And um, it was it was really encouraging to me um, that he could supernaturally connect up 
uh, people who had not rehearsed things, but just coming together by the power of the Spirit. So that's, that's the one thing. That's, that's the first thing I think that occurred to me. Um, and if I can keep going, uh, it was also, I, I saw where the, the meeting like that was pretty much a, um, a way to supplement, if I could use that, because they, um, they, they have food supplements and that you, you get the food, but you got some supplements out here because some of the foods may not be carrying the depth of nutrition or whatever that you need. And something, but the, this conference, you know, its, it's convention is, is a supplement um, for some of the things people are getting in their own, you know, home churches. And I, I saw that, that it was a needed supplement, you know. Um, Jesse used the term genetically altered, <laughs> word of God. And, but but it's, it, I saw that, that I needed that. It was powerful. Um, it brought out steps and things and so forth that I, I wasn't taught. And it was a specific um, faith teachings that we were getting, which some of the other teachings, of course, taught on some of the other principles in the Bible, and that, that's good. But this faith thing, he said, when I return, will I find faith on the earth? And, and when I saw that, I saw how faith teaching was not something that was, um, it was optional. I, I saw it as, as mandatory. Amen. Mandatory. It's good. Good Amen. word. Good and that's word just two of the speakers we've highlighted today that are going to be there. Uh, so we're looking forward to you being a part. Greg, I know you're looking forward to it. I am really looking forward to it. Jacob, David, and Brittany are going to be here. They're going to be. You're looking forward to it. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to have a great time. <laughs> All right, Tim. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember this: God loves you. We love you. And what else? Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. We'll, we'll see, see you next week or next week at the convention. Make sure you're there.